up, YouTube? It's your boy, the franchise guy. Come back at you guys. Another episode of Madden 19 franchise guy featuring the Philadelphia Eagles. And last episode, Corey Clement went down with an injury. As you saw right there, he had an abdominal tear. So he's done for the next five weeks, which puts us past the Super Bowl. So we did IR him. We did call up Darnell Pumphrey from our practice squad. Just not to really use him, just in case. We need him. I mean, I highly doubt we're going to be able to use Darnell Pumphrey in anything. I mean, he was taken in the fourth round a couple years ago because I thought he was going to be the next Darren Sproles. And then he was injured and just, it just didn't work out with him. I mean, but I feel I feel like, though, uh, Sproles, Smallwood, and Adams, though, I feel like those three can work out just fine without Pumphrey. No. Take on the New Orleans Saints, and if you guys don't know, if you guys live on a rock, the Philadelphia Eagles took the New Orleans Saints last week in the divisional round, and uh, they lost. They lost. It was a heartbreaker of a loss. Uh, I mean, to get within the red zone, to you know, have a score opportunity to come up at the, with the lead, really, and for something like I don't know, a, a drop ball. That just slipped through the hands of Alshon Jeffrey to, you know, to end the season. That's heartbreaking. But if you see right here, this ball just got launched. I mean, 0 for 1 for Wentz. The running game didn't work this first drive. You saw he got sacked. Take a look at Drew Brees, though, for the 2018 season. 39 touchdowns, 11 picks. I mean, that's a little too many picks, I think, for Drew Brees, honestly. The uh, 39 40 touchdown range is a good range. And look at this. The first play. Of the orange stage drive, it is an interception by Nate Geary. Look at this! Look at this guy, second-year linebacker. Now, won the starting spot out of uh, training camp. I don't uh, preseason. That's what's called. And now uh, he he's come up pretty clutch. He's got some tackles this year. And Wentz right now gonna fire over the middle for Mike Wallace. I mean, it's pretty good. And on the next pass attempt, I guess in the next drive four. The Saints almost picked off on third and 13. I mean, it tipped though, but the Eagles get the ball back on the 45. First and 10, hands ball off to Nelson Aguilar, and he's just going to rumble and bumble and stumble his way to, you know, for eight yards right there. I mean, that was not a pretty run at all. He got hit instantly. You see down there, the Los Angeles Chargers defeated the New England Patriots in the AFC Championship game, so the winner of this game will be taking on. Philip Rivers, Joey Bosa, Mike Williams, I think he's one of the receivers, Keenan Allen, those guys, next week, or two weeks from now, in the Super Bowl, I mean, hopefully it's us, I'm, I'm praying it's us, I mean, we have a nice little lead right now, I'm gonna do a toss play right now to Darren Sproles, and Sproles is gonna cruise into the end zone, untouched, so get the celebration going right there, we got Jason Peters, you know, Doing a, sh uh, a little sidestep right there. They're doing a bobsled. Everyone's cheering for him. Not sure why Peters is in there because he's on the opposite side of the play, but whatever. They're having fun. That's all that matters. Second and nine right now for Drew Brees and the Saints. And he's going to find Michael Thomas. He's going to break away a tackle. He's going to break a second tackle. Spin move. And two more defenders need to break him down. Michael Thomas having a Day right there, 19-yard reception just after the catch alone. Yeah, missing the Kamara right there. Just a little stutter step. Fletcher Cox just misses him ever so slightly. And he gets the first down right there. He got three rushes on the game for 10 yards. All 10 of those yards came from that one rush right there. Yeah. Firing again over the middle, third and long. Uh, Nate Geary again is going to bat that one down. He's He's ball hawking Breeze right now, and we see the starting center for the Saints, Max Unger, is out with an injury currently. Fourth and 14. The kick is up, and the kick is good, but wait a minute, there's a flag. Oh, this is going to be on us, isn't it? It's going to be a flag on the defense, roughing the kicker. And who's the culprit? Rasul Douglas does it again. Another rough in the kicker for Rasul. I really do think they need to work on this rough in the kicker uh, penalty because I feel like every time you can slide in there and the kicker walks into you, you're rough in the kicker. You don't actually have to touch the kicker to get a rough in the kicker. But fourth and nine, damage is averted. 
They settle for the field goal. Let's take a little more time off the clock. I mean, we don't really mind. We're up 14 to 3 now. I mean, hand this ball off to Darren Sproles again. He's going to run against his old team. A nice juke move right there. Look at Sproles. go. 14 yard rush. Six rushes, 58 yards on the day. Doug Pearson's ecstatic right now. Look at this again. Look at this. Look at that. Skirt. Look at him slide. He goes for the move. He's just a big man. He's got out juke by a kid. They call him Tank for a reason. But here we go again. Another replay of this Sproles. Look at that. Who is that? Is that, is that Marcus Williams again? Nah, it's, it's uh, Kurt Coleman actually right there. Which is Marcus Williams. You know, hits the hit stick a little too early again. But Wentz getting sacked. Second sack of the day for Wentz. Okafor with this one. Uh, Cameron Jordan had the first sack on Wentz. Again, uh, yeah, third and long. Carson Wentz throwing it deep, and Alshon Jeffrey's going to come down with the ball. Does he come down with the ball? He does. Look at that little spike right there. 26 yard catch for Alshon. You know, he's putting his team single handedly in the red zone. Fourth and goal. Hand his ball off to Jordan Mulatto, the fullback. He's going to get the ball up to the one yard line, but we don't care. We're going to pin this Saints team back in their own end zone. Because this ball's on the one-yard line on the first play. Going for a little draw right there. Not a little, not a draw. What's it called? A, uh, a, not a read option. Whatever it is, Chris Long gets a sack. I mean, gets a safety right there. Up 16-3 to three right now. I really, I'm really annoyed, though, that I can't figure out what it's called. And right there, Carson Wentz. Bad throw. Manti Teo. Pick six. Oh, boy. So, uh, we were getting a little too cocky right there. We just got the punt off the safety. Carson Wentz, a little careless with the ball. Manja just jumps the route and makes us a one-score game. And this ball off to Darren Sproles again. He's going to run up the middle. Second one down in the end zone. Zachert's wide open. There's a reason why he broke the touchdown, uh, the receiving record. Four tight ends this year. That's why. He just gets open catches everything right now make it a two score game again that's all we need yeah no i still don't understand i just don't know what that play is called the uh where you play action there's a play action run past that's what's called and i'm not look at that it's like brandon graham right there the all-time single season sack leader gets another sack 14 yard loss on that sack right there and we're going to halftime right now. I mean, we're up 22 to 10, 102 passing yards, 151 rushing yards. I mean, besides that pick six, I mean, this, we've pretty much held the uh, New Orleans Saints in check the entire game. I mean, we know the Los Angeles uh, Chargers have defeated the New England Patriots. I mean, Tom Brady, you know, lost to Phillip Rivers for once. I think Phillip Rivers is now like one for, what, seven all time against the uh, against Brady. Look at that. We had a wide open receiver. Drew Brees just overthrows him right there. Darby getting hyped for not doing anything, but Ted Ginn Jr. would have had touch on there, honestly, if he caught it. So we're gracious that he overthrew it. Aguilar in motion again. I'm going to hand it off to Aguilar. Aguilar's going to run this ball. Now, what is that? Like a 12-yard gain right there? 12-yard rush right there for Aguilar. Three rushes, 25 yards on the game so far for the young man. Second and two now. Hand this ball off to Josh Adams, and Josh Adams is going to get stuffed. I mean, I guess we're trying to run try the clock down a little bit. I mean, Sean Payne's happy. Third and two now. Hand this ball off again to Darren Sproles. And Darren Sproles is going to get a nice 10 yard pickup right here. Brings us into the red zone, down to the 16 yard line. 20 run rush, uh, rushes for 169 yards for Sproles. Sproles looking like his old self. Right there. Gonna find, uh, I don't know who that was, but gets popped right up into the arms of uh, Marshawn Lattimore. Went to second interception of the game. That's not really his fault. We can't blame him for that. That was just a bad pop it took. I mean, I think B was wide open, though. We went to A. But look at that. Derek Barnett faking now Drew Brees, keeping him from the throw. It does the jumper there. Fletcher Cox gets the sack. Makes a fourth and 27. We force Brees all the way down to his three yard line. Doug Pearson, pretty happy that after that one, but you saw right there, 
we're gonna get a roughing the punter, Rasul Douglas. I don't uh, either does either Douglas or McLeod. I'm not entirely sure which one that is, but just runs right into the side of the punter. I mean, we can't. You can't do that. Not in the championship game. Not when we're only up by two scores. And that is Rodney McLeod Jr. right there, who does get the penalty. Not a not not a good move right there. Not a good look. Uh, Drew Brees fires over the middle right there. Ten yard pickup. I mean, uh, Fletcher Cox fall, falling down as Fletcher Cox and Kamar is gonna be off to the races. I'm gonna have Darby dive after him and that's not gonna work. That's like a 60 yard run, that 40, 60 yard run, something like that. The big run he just had, you know, makes this a one score game. Fletcher Cox falls down. I mean, this is a must score drive right now. You know, find uh, Zach Ertz over the middle for the you know 12 yard pickup. I mean, but back in the end zone, second and second and goal, feed it to Malata, and he's just gonna push his big body in there. There's a reason this man should be a Pro Bowler. This man could probably win Rookie of the Year at the rate he's going. I mean, he ha he's come up time after time with these clutch touchdowns on the one yard him. He just puts his legs into it, just pushes in. Go for the two-point conversion. Darren Sproles walks in untouched. Two-possession game right now. I mean, you need two touchdowns to, you know, to have the lead right now. Seven minutes left in this game. And this Eagles offense right now is rolling. A lot of day, two rushes and one touchdown for one yard. Sproles right there just, just walks in. Second five right now for Drew Brees and the Saints. He's going to do a little dump pass to his tight end, and the ball's out. It's a fumble, and the Eagles are going to recover it. Rodney McLeod with the fumble recovery right there. It's Alvin Kamara who coughed the ball up. Here's it again. Kamara gets it. Uh, I don't know. Sure. I think the line's that. Is that Bradham right there who rips it out? Nigel Bradham rips it out. That is Bradham. with that. Gets his arm on it, rips it out. And we're going to ball to Josh Adams. Get out of the way, little man. Josh Adams runs him over. 10 rushes, 78 yards right there. Second and inches. Feed his ball off to Josh Adams again. Adams is going to get hit. He's going to stumble his way into the end zone. Josh Adams, his first career playoff touchdown. And this game now is becoming out of reach. This is a three-possession game now for the Eagles. Look at him go. Like he puts his hands down, does a little Calvin Johnson rule. Yeah, safety's not even close. Two-point conversion again. Hand this ball off to Josh Adams, and Adams is going to walk in there. It is now a four-possession game with four minutes left. I mean, could things have gone any worse right now for these New Orleans Saints? I mean, they're down by two possessions. They could have easily scored. Had us to a three and a four, a three and a half is what's called and scored again for the lead, but no, they coughed the ball up, they allowed the two-point conversion, I mean, get the ball right there to uh, the Tate, no, that's not Tate, that's not, uh, who was that, Ted Dean Jr., get the ball to him, he's gonna do a little juke move, Drew Brees rolling out of the pocket, and he's gonna go down, another sack, Derek Burnett credit with the sack this time, you know, first and goal, you know, just a handful of seconds left, and another sack right now, they gotta call a timeout right away, I mean, Drew Brees, far into the end zone. It's going to be batted down and picked off. It's picked off again. Nigel Bradham with the interception to end the game. Look at that. He was in the winning 38-17, 138 pass yards, 301 yards on the ground, 6.9 yards per average, and three takeaways. Saints, 119 passing yards, 70 run rushing yards. I mean, I guess when you have three running backs who are just committed to running the ball, Here's what you're good at. Went 14 for 1,853 yards. Uh, couple touchdowns, couple interceptions. Darren Sproles, 26 rush, uh, rushes, 408 yards. Adams is 81 yards. Carson Wentz with negative one rushing yards. Zachary, seven catches, a touchdown for 73 yards. Alshon, one for 26 and a touchdown. Uh, Brandon Brooks, a lot of pancake, and Johnson and Pierce, a lot of sacks. Talk about doing eight sacks, followed by Jenkins with six. Uh, Nigel Bradham had five and a pick. Chris Long had three. Mil Mills had a couple uh, tackles right there. Nate Geary had an interception right there. Derek Burnett had a sack. 
Uh, Graham had a sack right there. Uh, kicking Elliott was over O and two for three on extra points. He did shank an extra point. Uh, to end the game, we're gonna do some training real quick. Nathan Geary gets an upgrade. Uh, passes. Uh, take out the Pro Bowlers real quick. Uh, Malata gets in. That's always pretty cool. I think. Um, pretty sure Zach Ertz gets in right here. Dallas Goddard also gets in as a rookie. Jason Peters gets in. So is Wisniewski. I think Wentz got him. Kind of skipped over that. Uh, Kelsey Brooks, Lane Johnson, the Tiger Eagles offensive line is now Pro Bowlers. Brandon Graham. I know the Eagles are gonna be on this list. Uh, Jordan Hicks, of course, middle linebacker number two. Uh, Ronald Darby. Um, Jake Elliott. If you guys like this episode, you guys like, comment, subscribe. See you next episode. Peace out.